In the beginning of the book, I mention that there were heroes and scoundrels on both sides, and you're going to meet them all. It's a classic story of the advancement of civilization when it runs up against the resistors, the free roamers, who don't want your civilization. The first time that I went out to the Little Bighorn, uh, I, was, I was struck by the fact that it hasn't changed at all uh, since that day in 1876, June 25th. I got hooked and I, I went into their bookstore, which they had a great bookstore, and I bought every book they had. Everybody that I've read has talked about Custer's motivation because historians will look at Custer's approach to the Little Bighorn as what was he thinking? What was he doing? We'd like to know what really happened. Just to go out and talk to the surviving witnesses. In the book, my detective, uh, who is me, in, in 1877, uh, it finally dawns on him what's going on and what was happening and why all of this had to happen the way it did. And he looks up at Last Stand Hill, where Custer's buried, and he looks up at him and he, he's yelling, at, well, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? There's all these dead men laying around here that followed you out here. You led them out here. What was, he says, people would think you were crazy. People would think you're an idiot, but you weren't. You were desperate, weren't you? They followed the trail all the way as Custer did out there, which means they're walking in the footsteps of ghosts. And here the supernatural side of the book comes in because Del Cole is haunted by the spirit of his father. But he begins to realize that there's other spirits out here that want their story told. And that all comes out in the book because this is the step-by-step -step approach to the little, bit, little Bighorn is looked into by my uh, private detective as he interviews uh, different people. The interviews that were done with the, the Cheyenne and Sioux warriors, what they say is what they said back then. It's pretty gritty and it's pretty honest. It's not flowery for Native Americans, but it is I have heard from Native Americans thanking me for my honesty. This is history. This is ungilded. It has no political viewpoint. This is the way it was as told by the people who were there. This is what I want to have come out with the book, because we can lament that certain things were done, we can cheer that certain things were done, but they were done. But it's why I would like people to read the book, is that history is like this. It's not just the generals and the kings and the presidents. It's all of the people that made it happen, all of the people that were either affected by it or caused it. And then when you get down to who they were, they were people like you and me. They were on the edge of now being pushed into the future. Everybody he talks to tells them a story. So they are the storytellers. And they give you a mosaic, which is history.